Lord Honeyfield, can you tell us a little of your experience with uh, education in Colchester? Well, I have been uh, on the County Council for many years, and most of that time I've been particularly involved in education. And if I, my, my knowledge of Colchester schools goes back something like 30 years. And in fact, I was very much involved some years ago in the establishment of the Sixth Form College, which is one of the very best Sixth Form colleges in the whole country. And as one, one's known consistently, there have been problems with the variation and different styles of Colchester schools. And it's about time we really sorted it out once and for all. Can you tell us a little why you have launched this consultation? What well, we've seen over the last years continued falling roles in Colchester. Despite of the new housing, uh, there are less children in the schools now, particularly in the south of the town. In fact, the figures are actually worse now than they were a year ago and are likely to be for the next five or more years with declining roles. It won't be until the, perhaps the year 2020 that numbers begin to pick up in Colchester again. So we must sort out the situation about falling roles and to make certain people get their children get the very, very best education they can. Can you tell us a little of the, what is the consultation actually uh, suggesting? The consultations are suggesting three things, really, three variations, and we are, are prepared to listen to other uh, variations that might come up during the two months of talking. The, the, the preferred option is to close Thomas Lord Orderly and Alderman Blacksall, and to expand the very popular schools, Stanway, uh, Gilbert and Philip Rant and St Helena, to allow the children for that currently go to those other schools to go to those four schools. The idea is then to uh, uh, rebuild uh, the Sir Charles Lucas, which is a very old 1960s building, as an academy uh, to serve the children from that quarter of, uh, of Colchester. So a really, really exciting project with something like a £100 million of investment in those schools and creating the very best education that Colchester could possibly have. Can you tell us a little of how the consultation will work and how um, students and pupils can get involved and let their... Let us have their views. Well, that's exactly what we want. We have uh, four public meetings, uh, one in each of the three major schools affected, uh, uh, Alden Blacksall, Thomas Aldaldi and Sir Charles Lucas, and then a wider one and a wider meeting for anyone else who wants to come. We'll obviously have other meetings if need be, but we do want people to come, ask questions. If they've got other solutions, uh, then we'll, we'll, we'll talk about them and we can discuss the, the future of culture. The whole idea is to make culture a much better, a world-class education. You only get one opportunity, uh, but between the ages of, of 11 and, and, and 16 and therefore they want their very very best opportunity for the future so that's what we want that's what it's all about. Can you give an assurance to staff uh, who are currently teaching in some of the, in, in these schools? Absolutely what we still need as many teachers in Colchester there's not going to be any less children than there are in the schools at the moment what we'll do is have a staff commission so that all the staff get the fairest treatment and get placements in in the schools that their children are going to so there will be a job for everyone in Colchester. Can you say something about the transport arrangements in the new uh, possible model, how it but, might work? Yes, we're looking at that. We want to make certain that there is um, adequate uh, and proper um, ways of getting to these schools and doing the consultation we'll be coming out with, with solutions as to how these, the, the young people can get to the various new schools. What about new house building in, in the town? How will that impact on your plans and have you taken that into consideration? Well we had taken that into consideration but of course since we started thinking about this there's the economic crisis and we don't see, expect many houses to be built now for two or three years and certainly uh, houses are being repossessed and people and there is a general as you know tremendous crisis in housing certainly culture housing is not going to produce any extra children could even produce less than we imagined over the next few years. How will transforming uh, education in Colchester uh, impact on parental choice? Well, I believe totally in parental choice. I would like all parents to get their first choice of schools. At the moment, of course, that doesn't happen. Children that go to Thomas Lord Audley and Alderman Blackstall very often have been opting for other schools, particularly Philip Rant, Gilbert and Stanway. And therefore what this will mean, it will mean that people will get many, much more their first choice of school. And young people from Mersey will go to Thurstable in Tipty, whereas where a lot of people have wanted to go over the last years. We only 
look at the whole uh, reorganisation of schools, if we feel those schools aren't adequately and aren't properly giving those children the very best education, we don't rush in to reorganise our schools, our schools for the sake of it. What we want to do, we have, they only have that one opportunity of schooling, as I said. What we want to do is to make certain we have the very, very, very best opportunity, a world-class education for the people of Colchester. Therefore, we're not doing this lightly. What we're doing is so oh, in a few years' time, we can be proud, really proud, of every single school in Colchester and the opportunity that gives to young people of Colchester.